Hi, everybody, and welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Ms. Musio, and I am the Spanish 1 teacher this year. A little bit about me before we get into the um, class. This is my sixth year teaching here at Rutherford. I received my Bachelor in Education, ESL, and Spanish, and I've also received my Master's in Educational Leadership. Um, I am also the Spanish 3 teacher here at Rutherford. Um, I am the advisor to the Spanish Honor Society, the advisor to the Varsity Club, and I coach soccer, basketball, and softball here at Rutherford. Spanish 1 is um, mainly dedicated to try and review everything that students have learned in Spanish, whether they took it in 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, just at a little bit more of a faster pace. It also kind of... Um, combines the culture that students may not have gotten in past years um, along with the grammar and vocabulary. So here I have a few popular chapters that students usually love to um, go through and um, study. So the first one we have are sports, some descriptions, family and home life, food, vacations, well-being. These are just a few. There's a lot more under our curriculum on the district website if you want to see a lot more and these sub chapters of each chapter. Spanish one this year will be using a textbook called Connect Ed. The textbook itself is called Así se dice. The website is Connect Ed. Here we have an online platform um, screenshot that I took. It basically is a user-friendly um, platform where students kind of have everything that they need just into one website. So their textbook, their workbook, worksheets, videos, audio activities, games, self-check quizzes, all of that is in this platform and students can um, reach it whenever they need from their own Chromebooks. Each student is given their own username and password so they can access it on their own. This is also where their homework is going to be. So when students need to see if they have homework, this is the best way to see if anything is assigned or not. Speaking of homework, it will normally be assigned about two to three times a week. Due to today's circumstances, I'm going to have um, students turn in their homework through Google Classroom, whether it be a picture, a Google Doc, or whatever it may be. It's just easier since there might be days where I go one week without seeing a specific class, so turning it in will kind of have everything time stamped for us a little bit better. There are three ways that students can see if they have homework. One would be the homework sites. I will show you around my homework sites towards the end of this presentation. The second is Google Classroom, which is linked to homework sites as well. They kind of go hand in hand. Students just kind of are constantly updating, are updated by Google Classroom, so that's the best way for me to communicate with them. And the third way is through that website, ConnectEd, which they can see is um, do what they need to use or what they need to complete. The grading policy this year um, changed a little bit. What we've done is tests and projects are 40%. Reason why they are 40 is because with students being home, we feel like there are gonna be a lot more projects given this school year as opposed to tests. So we want um, projects to be a little bit more uh, w more weighted this year as opposed to in other years since they are going to be a little bit more important with students who are home. Our quizzes are 20%, homework is 15 and our classwork and participation is 25%. Um, we're taking a lot of consideration as well as to keeping students engaged while they're on their Zoom calls. So we're kind of trying to pay attention more as to getting those kids more involved and having them more engaged in lessons while they're home and we're in school. So popular projects that we complete here this year, um, we do a sports commentary where students pick a, a sports clip and they voice it over in Spanish. They design their own houses. They create their family trees. They make their own menu projects. They also plan a trip to a Spanish-speaking country and kind of see what they would do if they were to be in a Spanish-speaking country on their own. Okay. Um, our office hours these year, this year is going to be covered through Zoom. 
Um, my office hours are from 1.30 to 2.15. Um, students can come in whenever, any day. The only thing I ask that would kind of help everybody in the situation would be to just to notify me beforehand. I already showed students my Google sites and how they would sign up for office hours. I will do the same for you. Um, it just, I just feel like it would help students kind of schedule themselves and give me more time to have one-on-one -on -one with specific students rather than kind of cramming a lot of them into one Zoom call. If you ever do need to reach out to me, this is my email. It is jmusio at relifordschools.org. Um, with how everything is nowadays, I feel like I am behind my computer all the time, so I should be very quick to get back to you if you ever do have any questions. I do wanna show you my website. So if you go to the relifordschools.org and you go to the homework sites, you can find me under the world language section under Miss Musio. This is my website. Here you'll see kind of a few things that'll help you kind of get situated. The students took a virtual tour and they were able to get to know my classroom and a few rules and regulations. Um, a few things that I wanted them to see, for example, like a Zoom etiquette. Here I have my contact tab up at the top. If you click there, you'll see my website right here for anybody who needs to reach out to me. And right below is the sign up for office hours. So students can just come here. They see it's 1.30 to 2.30. They're just gonna type their name and whatever time between that 1.30 to 2.30 that they would like to meet. Um, what's great about this too is students can see what is available, what is open. Maybe they have a classmate that needs help as well so they can kind of come in together and do the office hours together. I wanted to also show you the Google Classroom with the calendar. So each class is broken up into color. That color is also tied in with their Google Classroom. So for example, if you are um, a Spanish one. I have a Spanish one class that is yellow. So we're gonna go to Amarilla. And this calendar is tied in with that class. So this week there's nothing due. Um, I will always write the due date on any homework assignment. I always write when a quiz will be, or a test will be, or a project will be due. So right up here we do see there was a geography assignment or a geography quiz that was on this day. The blue group had a quiz on that day. And then on this one, it was the bulldog and fully remote group. So this calendar really trying tries to keep me mostly and the kids kind of on top of what's coming. Okay. Um, other than that, that's about everything. If you still have questions, please email me at jmusio at relifordschools.org and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good night.